Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the channel, All in Crypto here and today we are going to be talking about an altcoin that I can see an easy 10x plus coming for. This altcoin that we're going to be looking at has not already done exceptionally well and been significantly stronger and already offered a higher ROI than many of the other altcoins out there. But it is probably one of the best looking altcoins when you divide it by Bitcoin, Ethereum and the total cryptocurrency market, suggesting that this altcoin is actually going to continue to do very well in relation to the cryptocurrency market that we believe has an epic time ahead of it based on macro reasoning. If you aren't familiar with that, do become a subscriber to my daily market updates. We cover the more broader kind of market topic day in, day out, every day around 1 p.m. UK time. But the altcoin that we are, of course, talking about it's a very polarizing altcoin because a lot of people really don't like it. Some people do like it. What I will say is when it comes to the investment arena, leave your biases at the door. It's not about what you want. It's about what the market wants and what the market wants, the market gets. The altcoin, of course, ladies and gentlemen, that I'm talking about is, of course, Solana Sol. Now, in my opinion, Solana is very kind of institutionally chosen. We're going to be showing you why that is. Not only are we going to be taking a look at Solana from a technical point of view, giving and re-giving a price prediction that we gave, um, but we're also going to be taking a look at fundamentally why it is going to do as well as we believe it is going to and why actually it's going to do well against other cryptocurrencies out there and it has everything to do with the kind of institutional adoption of cryptocurrencies through etf vehicles so we are going to be talking about that we already have two filings already for solana etfs we've been saying for over a year now that solana was very likely after ethereum to be the third cryptocurrency that gets an etf it already has various etps it's the third cryptocurrency when you look at bitwise's basket of cryptos Grayscale's basket of cryptos or 21 shares basket of cryptos, it's third consistently. Uh, it's also, I think, fourth in terms of market cap. BNB is just slightly above it, but BNB is often sort of missed out and so uh, very much put in that third kind of spot. So there's definitely an institutional favoritism to Solana. I have to admit, we cover lots of cryptocurrencies on the channel with fans of lots of them. Um, and I've got to say that Solana on YouTube and even Twitter certainly lacks the community in regards to other cryptocurrency projects. This also gives me further confidence that it's very much institutionalized. And anybody else that's listening to this that's also a uh, content creator for the cryptocurrency space will be able to attest to that. So without further ado, let's make the case for Solana 10 probably plus Xing. Um, and a good place for me to start, or certainly an interesting place for me to start, is with a report from market maker GSR that are estimating that a spot sole ETF may increase sole's price by as much as 8.9x. And it says, putting it all together, we can adjust our relative flow estimates under the various scenarios for Solana's relative size to Bitcoin's 2.5x increase due to the spot ETF. Doing so suggests Solana may increase 1.4% or 1.4x under the bear flow scenario, 3.4x under the baseline scenario and 8.9x under the blue sky scenario. Moreover, there are reasons to believe the impact could be higher than these estimates since unlike BTC, Sol is actively used for staking and within decentralized applications and as the relationship between relative flows and relative size may, know, may not be linear. Lastly, note that there is likely much less in the price of Sol for a potential spot Solana ETF than there were for Bitcoin at the start of our analysis as referred or inferred by Grayscale's trust uh, deviations from NAV. If true, Sol's expectational um, potential upside, which a spot ETF could be thought of as a free option, all else equal, all in, Solana is poised for a spot e ETF if and when additional spot digital asset ETFs are allowed in the US and the impact of the price may just be the largest yet. 
So that is a take from a well-known market maker out there. In fact, one of the larger market makers that are talking about the kind of um, Solana ETF that we do believe is coming. We've been highlighting Solana for a very long time. So we stepped back into the cryptocurrency markets at the start of 2023. So literally down here, we have been keeping a very close eye on Solana. I actually missed a long for Solana. I was looking for it coming back into this support in around about the sort of 18, 19 dollar range. Since then, it's done pretty damn well. In fact, at one point, it got to $211. So whilst most altcoins, and I actually think we're at a stage now where there are some altcoins that will outperform Solana. I don't think Solana is going to be the best performer. But what I am saying in this video is that it's very likely going to do a 10 plus X. In my opinion, that's not financial advice. Um, and it's going to perform very well relative to Bitcoin, Ethereum. Um, we're going to take a look at Solana divided by Amazon. We're very bullish on Amazon. We think Amazon's going to do well. Solana's going to do better than it and has done and is going to continue to do and the general market. But there are some altcoins that I do think will outperform Solana. I think Hedera will. I think Hedera has got potentially a 20 something X on its hand, whereas Solana maybe a 10 plus X, 14 X, something like that on its hands. Um, but if you take Solana on what it's already done, it's done a hell of a lot. You know, this tweet that we were uh, looking at was Solana down in its kind of basement area here on this pullback. Um, since then, it's gone on and, and, and at one point had over uh, 10x. Uh, and it's now setting up what we believe is going to be a broader continuation pattern all the way to around about $2,000. Uh, and if you look at it kind of flipped upside down, you know, you can see, I believe you're on the precipice of a, a pretty substantial move to the upside. And the interesting thing is we don't just derive that from the Solana US dollar chart. If we look at sort of uh, crypto basket indexes, so these are exchange traded products that are offered by the same people that offer uh, the Bitcoin spot ETFs and have all filed for the Ethereum spot ETFs and some of them even filing for uh, Solana ETFs. Um, they offer kind of basket of cryptocurrencies uh, in the form of ETPs. And, you know, if we look at Grayscales, Solana, uh, uh, G, Digital Large Cap Fund, Solana's third, you know, we have um, just under a 10x, I believe, coming for this. If you look at Bitwise, Top 10 Crypto Index Fund, uh, this is about an 8x, 8. I think 4x. Um, they also have Solana in that third position if we just find it. Uh, and then we also have the likes of what 21 shares offer. These all also offer individual crypto uh, products. You know, this one not potentially going to do as well, um, but still I think we'll do uh, rather well. And these guys of course have Sol in that third position also. So not only are we bullish on the Solana chart, we're also bullish and it looks, it looks far better than a lot of altcoins out. It's done a lot more already and it's suggestive that where we are in the market is going to be a good time and, and so on is going to continue to perform well because of its institutional status, because of the kind of institutional um, adoption we're going to see through ETFs. And we looked at an article from a market maker at the start. But if we look at the kind of products that have Solana within them as the third largest holding, you know, they're all also predicting a, a pretty good time to the upside. And actually, in regards to Grayscale Digital Large Cap Fund, this is GBTC that we got perfectly right. And you can see just how well the targets were adhered to here. And we also got uh, ETH, GETH, very, very right. And now we're looking for um, the kind of altcoin market to do well. And that's the kind of flow of money that comes into the crypto space. It goes Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, and then the altcoins. And I think Solana is going to be a kind of um, chosen altcoin, if you will. And you can see that certainly by how the ETPs are made up. So not only do we and are we deriving a $2,000 Solana price, which I think is about 14x from where it currently is today, if we just quickly check that out. It's, it's about a 14x from where it currently is. We're calling for 10 plus x. I think it will make this target and given enough time, we'll get there. If we also look at Solana against BTC, this is probably the best looking altcoin against Bitcoin chart that there is, period. In fact, I challenge anybody to find me a better one. Now, again, whether you like Solana or not is irrelevant, guys. The fact of the matter is it's well positioned to capture the capital that's going to flow into this market over the next year or so. Um, and I think you could, depending on how kind of zealous this bull market gets, see that 10x within a year's kind of time period. It's certainly done very well. It's 10x already. Um, I, I could certainly see it, you know, um, continuing on. And if it goes from when we were sort of initially looking at it and the tweet reads, I'll take Solana, Sol looks good. Um 
if it goes from sort of when I was highlighting this tweet, to be fair, $21 all the way to 2000 you know, that's like a 200x, right? Or 100x, right? So it, it's done very well. And actually, the sole BTC chart is very suggestive that it's going to do pretty damn good over uh, the course of this bull market. And you can also derive, not just from the ETPs that we looked at, because they're not going to be doing well in the bear market, that actually Sol, if Sol, Solana is going to be doing better against Bitcoin, that suggests that the overall market's going to be in a good spot. But Solana is really going to be outperforming. So when you look at Sol USD, the ETPs that are uh, have a large part of Solana in them, Sol against BTC, which suggests if the overall market is going to do well, and Solana is going to do extremely well against Bitcoin. Uh, I think this is what, an 8x or something, 7x is it? From where we currently are. 6.3x from where we currently are. It looks very similar to Injective USD here. And then we got that run. You know, this is all predicted by us here on the channel. Um, so Sol BTC looks great. Sol ETH is also on the cusp of breaking out into new all-time highs. And Solana is very much in a bull market against Ethereum. We're also very bullish on, on stocks at the moment, which helps us drive our view on, on how crypto is going to do in regards to the sort of broader macro environment. So we have a target for Amazon to get to 200 and $61. We gave this target down, I think it was about $130. So it's up significantly. And we think it's going to go even higher. And Solana is very much in an uptrend against Amazon, which we think is going to do well, which means Solana is going to be doing even better from a percentage point of view. And we can also divide Solana by the total cryptocurrency market cap that's now broken out into all time highs, consolidating, likely going to go higher. Uh, and then, of course, we've spoken about the ETP. So Solana, from its own technical merit, looks amazing solana usd when you look at the percentage and it's the third largest coin held in all these exchange traded products that track crypto baskets they all look bullish and solana is obviously going to benefit from that solana looks amazing against sol btc in fact i challenged somebody to find me a better altcoin chart out there than sol btc uh, near btc is a good good but not quite as good as solana um when you look at sol against eth when you divide it by pretty much anything it looks very strong it's been strong and that's likely to continue so whether you like solana or not there is uh, an undeniable i think um I, I don't want to use the word fact uh proposition here that it's going to do exceptionally well and in my opinion over the next year or so is likely going to 10x uh, and then some but that's just my own opinion we've shown you why we got that from a technical point of view and we've also said okay this is fundamentally going to be driven when you're looking at technicals really what you're doing is looking at footprints in the sand to spot what these sort of insiders and institutions are doing so not only is solana very likely uh, to do well technically there's also a, a great fundamental reasoning with the etfs and we looked at the market makers take on that in regards to why it's going to do well from a kind of uh, fundamental point of view that technically is all signaled that's it from me ladies and gentlemen i know many of you want solana fans out there i'm not the biggest fan of the blockchain i think it's an issue having a blockchain that that you need to constantly restart and stop starts that, that just isn't going to work for the new financial system um despite all that it seems to be favorited and it's not about what i want it's not about what you guys want it's about what the market wants and what the market wants the market gets remember that that's it from me ladies and gentlemen on that note i'm going to love and leave you see you all in the next one